welcome back to Raincross Farms Makery. My name's Robin and we are on the evening of day seven of our sourdough starter. So here she is and she has been resting all warm all day and bubbles have reappeared all the way around and on the top. And this morning I put a um, hair tie at the level of the starter so you can see it did raise not not it didn't double maybe a third it raised a third which is still a good sign which means it is it is um, developing and starting to grow so we are going to do our evening feeding as normal so we're going to take a quarter cup of unbleached all-purpose flour dump it in and three tablespoons of warm water one two and three and we are going to stir that up really well incorporate it in with that beginning starter Give it some dinner. And scrape down the sides so we can see what our level is. Okay. And I'm gonna kind of tore up that coffee filter when I used it last, so. I'm going to use a clean one, cover it up, put this on to hold it tight, and I'm going to readjust my rubber band so I can see if it is expanding at all. And I've kind of stirred out the bubbles, so right now there are no bubbles, so any bubbles that form will be forming in real time. So we will try this again in the morning. We'll take a look at it. We are going to do, because this is our first full week, this is how far we've gotten. I'd still say it's a success. It's slower than I had wanted. It's slower than I had anticipated. Um, I'm thinking that could be a little bit because of the cool weather, although I do keep it in a warm place. It could be just the time of year, so it's a little slower to get started. But tomorrow, we are going to continue on as usual. We're basically going to repeat week one, but it's getting a little bit stronger, so we're going to start using some of our discard sourdough. So join me tomorrow. I'm planning in the morning to go live, and we'll actually make some discard sourdough pancakes. And I'm also going to show you another method that I have discovered of a sourdough starter. So we're actually gonna start a second sourdough starter starting tomorrow, and we'll see if that is a little speedier, a little more effective, we'll see how it goes, because I'm learning this as I go, and I'm not an expert, so I'm experiencing it and inviting you to come along with me. So, again, I have a week one worksheet, not worksheet, guide for sourdough starter. I'm going to add a second one for the second week. Um, hopefully I'll have that ready by tomorrow morning, but maybe not. But anyway, if you want to get a free copy of the PDF of this sourdough starter guide for week one, comment guide and I will make sure I get that to you. So you want to join us tomorrow, if at all possible, hopefully live, but if not, catch the replay because we're going to be doing some fun things with the discard while we're waiting till this to fully develop so that we can bake some bread and to come and see that new starter method. We'll see how it goes. So thanks for joining me and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.